As the restoration program manager with the Upper Deschutes Watershed Council, I've been working for the last, gosh, uh, over 12 years on uh, not only restoring habitat for salmon, steelhead, and the native trout, but then on working to remove uh, barriers to fish passage. Since 2006, there's been a very strong effort from Basin Partners to bring back Chinook salmon and steelhead trout to Waichus Creek. Waichus Creek is one of the major tributaries to the Deschutes River that originally had salmon and steelhead habitat, and over the years, the dams have blocked fish passage. 12 years ago, uh, we had six dams on the creek, and we are at the point where we are this year removing the last dam. And we're working with the Three Sisters Irrigation District, and they're helping us remove that and install a new diversion with a fish screen. So this is the last dam dam. We started at a watershed scale. We weren't looking at any one dam, we were looking at all of them. And so we slowly started chipping away, working with irrigators, with ranchers, with the community and um, outreach and education to uh, really bring the community and the ranchers on board uh, to find ways where um, irrigators and ranchers could get the water they needed, uh, but in, in doing so not being as harmful or as impactful to the creek. This project is a very challenging project. We saved the most complicated project to the last. And the idea of our dam being the last one to come out, I think it was never really a question it, about it. It would be like, yeah, that's the right thing to do. It's just how does the farm keep going? How do we do, do with that? There's a lot of water right holders here, but um, and it took some time to go through all the different alternatives and to find the right one that worked for everybody. I think when you look at all the pluses and minuses, I believe, and I think Dad does too, it's the right thing, the progress that's taking place and the way it's being done. So weighing everything, uh, I think it's going to be a benefit to, to everyone because water in the creek is number one. And then the fish uh, uh, accessibility. When we get reports of salmon and steelhead entering White Juice Creek, there's, uh, it creates quite a buzz that, that we have salmon coming back um, into White Juice Creek, back into our community, and I, I think that gets people really excited about salmon restoration. To see uh, a fish that has spent time in the ocean come out to central Oregon in the high desert, um, it's, it's pretty fascinating, exciting, and all we want is to, to see more come back. You know, bringing my kids out here, seeing uh, school kids come out here, um, and the fact that they get to see this shift, this change from what once was to what will be, is really powerful. It's a group effort, and, and we all have different roles, but, but to find these kinds of complex solutions, uh, I think we need to rely on each other's expertise to try to uh, work out solutions. And it's been a real rewarding journey to work with all uh, different partners uh, through the restoration of White Juice Creek. We've accomplished so much in 20 years, but imagine what we can do in the next 10 or 20 years if we continue to partner and collaborate. There's also other streams and rivers in the Upper Deschutes watershed that deserve this level of attention and collaboration. So that's the, that's the challenge ahead for us.